This is the River to Sea Ish Monroe Series Biggie. Now this is a square bill crankbait and it's two and five eighths inches long and it is uh, designed to go about three to five feet deep. So bouncing off a cover and, and fishing in that shallow water. Got some fantastic oversized hooks on this thing for, for big fish, some of those Ish Monroe size fish. And this bait has a knocking rattle sound to it. So it is big, in your face kind of square bill, and it's gonna be a, a great bait for fishing up shallow for big bass. The gear you need to fish this bait, your standard square bill setup. You know, I like a high speed gear ratio reel to a medium speed, somewhere between six two to one up to seven two to one, depending on your preference. But usually when you're up shallow, you're working the bait quick and stopping it around pieces of cover, something around seven foot to make short, accurate cast to objects. Um, and I've got a glass composite rod here, seven foot medium. And I've got 12 pound test on here, but you can bump up to 15, and even 20 if you're fishing around heavy cover. And that's what this bait is designed to do. It's designed to go through uh, heavy, shallow cover and bring those bass out and get those reaction strikes. So if you're gonna fish this around heavy timber and brush, you might wanna bump up your line size. Unlike other deep diving crankbaits, mid-depth crankbaits, this square bill crankbait is really designed to, to get into that, that nasty cover, and especially with the biggie, with those oversized hooks, it's just, it's built like big old papa. It's made to cast in there and get a big bite and uh, you can throw it on that heavier line. So the conditions I'm gonna look for are anywhere there's some good shallow cover around, you know, a lot of targets. Same places I'm gonna be fishing a jig or a spinner bait. The action I'm trying to imitate is a bluegill or any type of bait fish that's living up shallow. And I wanna get it to deflect off of those pieces of cover, whether it's you know, some, some pad stems or some stumps. Stumps are probably my favorite areas to fish these oversized square bills, like the biggie. It's got that wide wobble to it, which really pushes a lot of water and it's got a nice attractive feel to, the, to a big bass. But the main thing is when you see a target, cast to it just like you would with a Texas rig or a jig, and then get it to deflect off that object. You want to hit it and then stop it. And that's when those big bass come over there and grab it. <laughs> 